Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. This is Austin Lenny here with your Friday rant, leverage and compounding. These are the forces that make the universe go round, especially in business. Guys, most of the people, when they negotiate a deal, they don't do it from a place of leverage. They do it from a place of wanting. Okay. If you have an idea, I'm going to break down a real life scenario, but it's a great uh, opportunity to, to explain this and have a use case. If you have an idea and a product that you're going to market, especially in the product business world, okay? And let's say you haven't sold any units and you're looking for venture capital money or startup money, which is uh, high risk money, but they're willing to bet on your idea. If you haven't sold anything or you don't have a profit or a patent or anything, profits or anything, you're going to give up a large chunk of your equity right out of the gate because they're giving you money based on a risk and that risk portfolio is going to match the equity they're going to take. Okay. So you don't really have a position. Most of the time you lose your company this way. It makes way more sense to self fund the idea, get the patents, spend three to five years working on it and selling 5,000 products, then looking for the money to expand your business. That way, you're going to give up way less of your company and you're going to control it. But most people are so gung-ho on starting something, they don't make the decisions based on five, three years from now. If you don't have leverage in a negotiation, you've lost. And so the way to walk into a negotiation is to understand everybody's points of leverage. There are people that get hard money loans based on 20% interest. And you say, that is outrageous. Why would they ever do that? Well, they don't care because they're making so much profit in the real estate market they're in, and they're doing it on speed that it doesn't make sense. One of the greatest quotes, one of the things my friends ever told me, one of the best, he said, every long-term investor thinks a short-term investor is wrong. Every short-term investor thinks a long-term investor is wrong. Don't you dare make decisions based on what your outcome is seeking. A long-term investor that's holding for 50 years doesn't think the same way a guy does that's holding for two days. But yet we quantify them and put them together, okay? So then on the back of that, compounding, okay? So when you allow something, the space necessary to grow on itself, it's going to create 10, 20, 5X, 10X down the road. It literally gets bigger and bigger. So when you understand these concepts of compounding, my best piece of advice to every young kid that I could ever meet in the entire world is create a mechanism at 18 years old. It could be $10, $15, $50 a week. And you put that somewhere in a whole life insurance policy, the index, the S&P, I don't care. If you did that, I'm 41 now. If you did that for 21 years, you would be blown away what you would have saved up. And so I realized that when I was pitching businesses in my 20s and I was pitching ideas, I had no leverage. I had no track record. Now that I have a track record and now that I have that, they look at me different. You have to walk into every situation understanding where the leverage sits in the room. And then you have to use that leverage to create some value for yourself and then allow that value to compound for 20 to 30 years. Now you have the recipe to set yourself up for whatever you want to do. I hope everyone got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Guys, let me take a minute to tell you about my buddies over at Lead Hub, Ben and Aaron, the best humans I know. Not only are they amazing at marketing for trade companies, but Ben started his HVAC company in his garage, sold it for multi-million dollars. So when this guy talks, I listen. When we took over Deets Mechanical, we had 22 reviews in 22 years. In seven short months, we went from 22 reviews to 107. We went from a 4.2 to a 4.7. We tripled our Facebook presence and we tripled our calls. If you are an HVAC, plumbing, electric, landscaping company, and you're looking for a no BS approach, to marketing, you're looking for people who have done it before, you got to go to leadhub.net 